Hello, this is going to be a video about API testing, API testing of an Axum API. And let me just do a demo and we'll work backwards. So what I've got here is a API which I've based upon the example provided in the Axum examples. If you go to examples directory, pass body based on content type, we'll do cargo rum, start the API up, the Axum server. And then we will do cargo test. And you see test passes. One passed, OK. Um, and that's the output just from firing up the Axum API uh, service. So let's actually look at the code. As always, this is me experimenting. It's not necessarily <laughs> an expert showing you how to do stuff but I think it's interesting to watch other people uh, experimenting how they modify stuff what they do what they encounter problems how they fix them so if we go to let's open up main and you can see this is pretty much based on the example uh, what I've added in though is scroll down a bit starting from here tokyo test so this code here downwards is the test endpoint code and you can see what it's doing is it's going to use the request crate uh, request with a w coming from python yeah it's a w not a not a u so we create sorry the URL is effectively the URL of the root of the server we've created with Axum. Then payload. So the payload, that does need to be foo because that's what we've specified in our payload struct here. So foo is the name of the key. So it does need to be that. Obviously, if you check, you can change it here and then it's obviously um, needs to be updated here for your test to pass so we've got two tests one is with a json payload so you can see surday json so you'll need to do cargo add surday and don't forget to add i always just do add derive just by default um, the json mac that gives you the json macro which then converts this to json for it to be effectively sent over the wire is serialized. So um, just as you would with JavaScript, you're, you've got a JSON object, so you need to kind of uh, process that. Um, here, similar, but we're actually using uh, payload, which is effectively um, strings, uh, so string reference, string reference. And we're expecting to get back response status is successful response.status so that's the response which comes from the request uh, client new object which we've created we've created that here and then we've also created it there so one function, I guess that's um, that's shadowing, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, so that's that's the test code. I've not included it in main. You could do that so that when you run main, the tests run, and then you get an assert. Um, also, uh, just to notice, most uh, I don't think I've used it so far in any of my earlier videos. We're using, or rather. The example code is using tracing subscriber. There we go, subscriber, uh, util, and layer. Um, with a layer, you add a layer. A layer can be used to add other things other than just the tracing. So um, layers work. If you've seen the Jeremy Chain video, layers work from the lowest one in the sequence upwards as you look at it. Um, if you have several, so you can keep adding layers. You can have um, a middleware layer, for instance. 
that's on my list of things to learn so yeah just remember the payload so when you're working with json you need to create a struct and the struct is then effectively if you come with python it's obviously a bit like your json dictionary really um so just remember the struct needs serialize and deserialize and if you're going to be printing it use debug as well so yeah you'll nearly always be using these um, to apply to your struct um yeah just a quick note on that async trait it's a bit scary isn't it <laughs> i think it oh i thought it was but um so with these just one thing to point out which you may or may not, may or not sort of really have thought about much when you're using these capital letters they are still a uh, generic trait kind of um, placeholders or, or yeah i guess so that s you'll you'll see um the typical one is t and then u and then v in many of the tutorials but in real code you'll see s because s is the first letter of what it actually means so s is s for send um you may also see b i've seen i don't know if it's in this code maybe not but you'll see b so that confused me because i'm used to seeing t u v and so on but s here is send and b is just the capital letter which represents the first letter of the word body so yeah these capital letters don't get off put don't don't, yeah, don't uh, get upset when you see that it's not TU or V. I think that's part of the problem or the danger of doing too many tutorials. And yeah, it's a bit like a safety net because they all conform to a similar, I would say they conform to a similar pattern. And often people will make tutorials if they've learned from other tutorials or so. Yeah, I'm trying to show you more videos of me actually editing real code or code written by professionals this is obviously the code written by david peterson P pederson who's written axum so i'm not going to argue with him <laughs> all right thanks for watching and i'll be back soon hope you like these videos if you do please comment thumbs up subscribe help the channel and all that if i don't get the thumbs up and all that then youtube don't don't put up the thumbnails and other people don't see these videos and then ultimately you know one day i would probably it's all about the opportunity cost isn't it the time spent doing this i could be spent doing something else so yeah um yeah thanks for watching see you again